that brief testimony. Mr. Lord, uh, this thing happened, uh, it's a journey that began last year as I was praying uh, when I was there. Because when I was going to UK, the man of God, the prayer he sent out was, John Knox was a man of like passion. He prayed and there was a revival. You should be another John Knox. Myself and my family, my children, everybody was there and he prayed for us. So last year, one of the times I was praying, I was asking God some questions and was saying, is it not possible to use a nothing thing in the whole world and uh, UK? And immediately I made that prayer, the man of God appeared. Another person that appeared in my room in that time was Pastor W. Kumuyi. So saying, how can you men of God come to my bedroom? He said, who doesn't like what we are saying? We said, who is that man of God that will not want to identify with this kind of mind? That I went. I went again, prayed, Lord, I'm not a lazy man. My wife can't feed me. My children cannot feed me. Tell me what to do. He said, work for me. Now, work for me, whatever you want, I will give it to you. I went on in that same prayer. Okay, I have agreed to work for you. He said, before you work for me, there is something I want to tell you. I'm going to pass you to A, where you are going to have enough resistance. He didn't explain. He said, through two weeks, no water, no food. After it, 180 days, you are eating only once. When I wanted to start the program, something happened. Now, when I came here during November meeting, after hearing the man of God, I vowed that nothing will distract me from following this program. So when I went, I told wife, I told children, I told brethren, Nobody can distract me from going into this program the Lord has called me to. So when I, if I began, I called a man of God and uh, told him what the Lord was telling me. He congratulated me in advance. I said I have won immediately. Once he said, Pastor Luke, I congratulate you in advance. I said the program is uh, finished. So I began the first day. God arranged something that I cannot you know, uh, describe. Somebody had a problem that now came to church and we could pray in the morning from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Sing, read Bible, pray in the evening every day, 6.30 p.m. We will pray and on and on. As I began this program, the Lord started telling me that people are praying for anointing and not resistance. The people that can't resist money, the people that can't resist women, the people that can't resist offense started talking and saying many, many things, showing he wanted to save the whole world. So in this time of this uh, fasting, the strange thing that was happening is I was gaining strength day after day. While under this program, physically you will see me machated. My wife and children will be crying, but um, inward me, I must do at least three significant things every day. Moving out in that state doing those things. He said, that little strength, you use it, you will do something. So one of the days, I wanted to make a call. My credit had finished. I tried online, it couldn't go. I went to the shop to go and buy something with my card. Immediately, I mentioned 20 the tenant killed cash instead of a uh, card. Now, when I said what I have is cash, Everybody, this machete, uh, machete person uh, buying card, 
and all that. So this, uh, they brought many people to cancel the one they have done for cash. The team refused to cancel. They are now compelling me that I must go to the cash machine and get them cash. And I didn't have enough in my card for that cash. And I didn't want to make that cash. They are wrong. Definitely wrong. But now they don't want to lose the 20 pounds. The machine has re recorded it. The Lord said to me, there is 20 pounds in your house. Can you tell them, stop arguing with them. Tell them to give you time to go to your house and take 20 pounds. So I just come down. I said, please, can you hold the voucher? Uh, let me go to my house and bring 20 pounds for you. They, they say with all pleasure, but they felt I was running away. So in that, my frailty, I just walked to my house, picked the 20 pounds. As I was entering this door, I was like an angel. <laughs> everybody there, all the staff, everybody was looking at this strange man. So this man has come back with 20 pounds, this frail man. Everybody was full of appreciation. He said, if you have followed your right, you will lose your integrity. He said, you don't know the integrity you have built now. I have taught you before. Follow peace with all men. He said, you can follow peace with all men. That a number of us are pursuing right and destroying our integrity and make gospel. Um, celebrate.